literally vlogging how nice the day is and a LaFerrari drives past. I'm pretty sure it was Chris Evans's. 1131 pounds. <laughs> First impressions of the Eurostar? Now I'm working, so. Oh, alright. I'll ask someone else. First impressions of the Eurostar? Anyone? No. Oh. <laughs> We've made it to Paris. And Sam is going to try bad mouthing me as he vlogs me. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Please stop talking to me. So we're in sunny Paris. And what we have to do now is find a taxi, lure a taxi driver in to uh, take us over to Fort de France. Yeah? Oh, I can't bend my arm like that. Front facing camera and all that. And um, yeah, we will uh, let you in on the secret car that we're driving down to Monaco in. So it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Maybe even more fun than our cars. Oh, hello. We'll have to wait and see. I hope it's black. Yeah, a black car would be really nice. And then uh, we're going to make our way south towards Monaco. Uh, for years. And uh, the run you eat, it's quite, uh, quite uh, particular. Wow, it's cool. And the Saint Germain en Laye, it's uh, approximately 32 kilometers. Long. From, yes. Wow. A mini coach. Looks like a toaster on wheels. <laughs> we say goodbye to the Lexus taxi man and hello to Ford. <laughs> and it's time to find out what car we're going to be driving for this weekend for the Monaco F1 Grand Prix. Whoa, what a beast. Here we go, baby. The Ford Fiesta ST. We will do some explaining as to why we have got this car. I love it. What a beast. This, awesome. this is going to be awesome. It's so good. The sat nav, it's like one big piece of spaghetti. It's the best way to describe what we've just experienced. It's a very small screen. It's a very small spaghetti. Very small spaghetti, and it's hard to correlate what's on the screen to what's in front of you. Yeah, it's a good um, sort of analogy. It's good, wasn't it? Yeah, not too bad. Precise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but to drive, we really haven't had the chance to open it up. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely honest, these, these tunnels are just bombarded with speed radars, which are 17 kilometers an hour, which I have no idea what that means in miles per hour. About 40. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know either. And we've got, we arrive at our hotel at mid... <laughs> we arrive at our hotel at midnight, which is just outside Marseille, and then we've got a three hour drive from Marseille to Monaco, which I assume you'll do. Am I gonna do the whole leg down to Avignon? No, mate, well, let's break it up. Yeah? I okay. want to get the car going at some All point. Right. I'll give you a break as well. Yeah, so we are just going to cruise, see how good it is on fuel. Get some food at some point. Get some food, McDonald's. We are cruising now after about an hour or so in traffic. Yeah, that was, that which was tremendous. Which was really boring, especially because this is a manual car. I love the automatics and the paddles and the ease of use, but it was a manual, it wasn't too bad, but motorbikes were the killers. Whoa. Basically, these motorbikes just stuck on their hazard lights as if that was okay. <laughs> I was doing 90 miles an hour. It's like that was like a bulletproof like vest. Yeah, what the hazard, hazard lights on. Yeah, we tried it. And seeing as this is like a hot hatch and like much narrower than both of our cars, we were thinking maybe we can create an extra lane. And it didn't work and everyone hated us. Yeah, we got some abuse for that. <laughs> so we're in Hippopotamus Grill Restaurant, me and Sam. Do you want to give it a go? Hip. No, say it, say it fast. Hippopotamus. <laughs> say hippopotamus. Hip. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. And our food's here. Oh. Perfect timing. Thank you very much. Bon appétit. Thank Merci. you. Yeah, I spoke French. <laughs> We're in the back streets of Avignon. And uh, we are not too happy with uh, the location. Luckily, that's supposed to where we're supposed to be staying down there. That looks dodgy as hell. That does look dodgy as hell. <laughs> we don't trust they're around here. <laughs> so we're rally driving. <laughs> don't crash it. 
much. Yeah, so we're heading back to an Ibis that we saw on the way because we're um product placement. <laughs> <laughs> Pay up Ibis. We're all we're all about just being home comfort brands. There's some sort of windy storm going on. We're getting the stuff out of the car now. And uh, yeah, that first hotel that we stayed at, proper dodgy. Don't even know the name of it, but yeah, we're not gonna go there. We've managed to find ourselves <laughs> this hotel, which is like literally right by the motorway. So we're just gonna jump on um, and head straight into Monaco. It shortened our journey tomorrow, which is nice. And I'm even getting Sam's bag out of the car, which is even nicer. Oh, man, so <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to get inside, edit this video. It is half past one. No, half past zero, half past midnight. Half past zero. Half past zero. Maneuvering in this car. Front wheel drive, manual gearbox, tiny car. Much easier than the Audi R8. And even with cold tires, you've got no chance of going sideways. Just losing your sunglasses. <laughs> it's awesome. However, we've seen loads of Ferraris. Yeah, it's we're been definitely a lot of cars coming the other way. On the route to Monaco because we are, I think we're about 20, 25 kilometers outside of Cannes. Then it's Nice, then it's Monaco. We've had 430, 360, 575, yeah. California. Turbo S, that's not Ferrari. Turbo right S. So, yeah, we're doing all right. I didn't particularly want to do too much of vlogging on this road because I done it a month ago in my, in my, <laughs> in my car and it's the Love same that road. that repeat comment. <laughs> yeah. No com comment. The road, is, the road is exactly the same just for an update. Just um, I think it's a bit bumpier than last time. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the same weather. The mountains haven't changed shape. It's beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. It is 18 degrees outside and it's only 9, nearly 10 o'clock. We're about 45 minutes away from Monaco. Enjoying the car as a, as a go-kart, we're getting the turbo whoosh, we've had some fun. Uh, check out Sam's video for more of the content because he, wasn't, he didn't bother filming it on my camera. But we are seeing some awesome sights overlooking Monaco. There is an insane amount of yachts, so I think, I oh know, we, we haven't got that. <laughs> it's um, starting to get butterflies, starting to get the blood pumping. We're gonna head down, dump our stuff, and head straight back out. Upload a video actually, and then head straight back out. Try and find out where we can walk, where we can't walk, and uh, try and steal someone's VIP press pass and pit lane for access. I'm glad we came. <laughs> <laughs> They said that wasn't bad. That was pretty, pretty decent start. First hotel it? that we've been to, 177 FS. That's the first 177 I've seen. Is it? Yeah, I am pretty cool about it. I was yeah. like, oh look, it's a 177. Yeah, I thought it was a vantage. So far we've been exploring. We've taken many wrong turns. We've taken many places. Is it Twizzy? Is it Sam? Um, so we're just sort of exploring where we can go, where we can't go. So turns out we can't go many places. So. Yeah, so far it's pretty unsensible, but I feel like it's a bit of a confident. We need to figure out what we're doing. Yeah, M4 cab. Once we know, we know. <laughs> We've got the second hotel, Meridian Hotel. We're dual vlogging. So dual vlogging. Catch you guys up. Quick, quick, quick. We're going to have to be quick. Okay, we're going in what car? Well. What car? 458. <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh my God. Man. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Pagani Waira. Whoever's closer. Oh, come on. This is so outrageous that I've said Waira. I know, there's not even any supercars there's, there's here. Nothing. There's an X5 or 4 or 3. There's an X. X3. Like an E class. Do you know I'm really excited for? What? Your opinion on this yellow speciale? Okay, fine. Because I was excited to see one. I'm pretty sure it's a speciale of Perth as well, just judging by the strike. 
<laughs> nice. Wait. Some gypsy spec wanting to. That is a disaster. It does that. Someone's like, oh, I really want my forefinger to look like special Alice. I'll just steal the stripe. <laughs> So we've split up to try and find some more cars and I found a tuk-tuk. Epic. Well, there's actually a Veyron there. Um, it's been pretty up and down is the best way to describe what tonight has been. It's been insane when it's been up. When it's been down, it hasn't been too bad. The cars have still been parked up and um, it's been a great sight to see. Look at this. This is just one big party now. It's just yacht party after yacht party with tons and tons of people on each yacht. There's loads of corporate events. This is just chaotic. So we're chilling out now by the Mansory Stallone and we're going to wait for a startup, hopefully get some good content. Um, but the casino is quite ridiculous, if I'm completely honest. I feel like I can hear an Aventador. Not too sure. What are you going to say? There's that uh, Gallardo Mark One. Oh yeah, with the Chibi. And I was like, oh, it's that AV, and then it's, it always ends up being there. Yeah. I can hear something. It's not that. Is it right? That's a Cali. Right. Anyway, we're just going to wait for this to start up. We have caught up with it. Yeah, it's a California. Bloody hell.
So we've got the best and worst news possible. Whilst we were down at the marina looking out, how good the parties were, how good the yachts were. Lewis Hamilton's Honda comes out, and bearing in mind that is one my favourite car and Sam's favourite car as well. It is one probably about 80% of the reason that we came down this weekend. We've missed it. We carried on driving straight down that way. So um, we're going to hang around here and wait for the Zonda 760LH. So over there we've got a Mansory Lamborghini Aventador Roadster that looks a bit like the 720 anniversary edition. I'm not in the greatest of moods, to be completely honest. Although the Monaco Formula One weekend has been a huge bucket list of mine, I think an even bigger one, now that I've come to terms with the fact that I've missed this car tonight, I've come to terms that seeing Lewis Hamilton's Zonda is even higher on my bucket list than this weekend. Unfortunately, we missed it um, tonight. I think it must have been out for like two minutes. Got caught in a bit of traffic. Um, and then headed back to his garage. Yeah. I'm a sad man tonight. But fingers crossed, he wins tomorrow and comes back out for a celebratory lap or two. Right, so we are risking walking up towards the casino to check out what is going on up this side of Monaco. Sam is still scouting out the uh, route that Lewis Hamilton may or may not drive. It's like complete luck, but we're not taking any chances tonight of trying to see him. Whether he drives or not after sort of having a bad team decision to pit is another matter, but we're gonna go up to casino, casino and check out what's going on and uh, yeah, try and find some more cars. It may be a few hours before we start to say anything interesting. <laughs> uh, so I thought, what if I actually give me like a half second and then you die? I'm gonna ask you to pull the lake. Give me a hospital. Like, great views, but I miss my Eurostar, so. Would you die? Well, yeah, I could just dump you in the hospital. Yeah. Oh fail, I forgot to vlog for a long time. I'm now in the you passenger seat. Yeah, you were saying you couldn't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> so we I'm obviously in the passenger seat now, otherwise it'd be really weird. <clears throat> Paul thinks he's really fun and cool because he found me. <laughs> um, and you can see the Susan. Susan! Susan! Classic Susan video blog. Video 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 blog. Um, so yeah, that was an update for you. Glad I filmed it. Hopefully, I'll still be alive to film some more content for you. <laughs> oh, oh, sign up. <laughs> <laughs>